Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Ed, and welcome to another video. Now, I just wanted to share this quick word of encouragement with you guys, alright? Isaiah chapter 55, verses 8 and 9 say this. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Now, the thing we got to remember is this. When it comes to God, we've got to remember that He is infinitely wiser infinitely more knowledgeable he he's just he's infinite in every single way shape and form so there are going to be times that he does things that we're simply just not going to make sense of i mean despite the fact that we can logic and reason to a certain degree we're still sinful we're still fallen and we're just simply not going to be able to understand all that god does he's infinite we're not and you can look at joshua and the israelites as a perfect example see when Joshua, when God told Joshua and the Israelites, yo, you're going to take over Jericho, this is what he had him do first. He told Joshua and the Israelites, okay, so check this out. You, you guys are going to take over Jericho, but I'm going to need you to do something for me first. So for the, so for six days, I need you to walk around the walls of Jericho once. For six days, do that once a day for six days in a row. And then on the seventh day, I want you to walk around it seven times, makes a total of 13 times. And once you're done walking around it seven times, I want you to shout, charge, and the walls are going to fall and you're going to take it over. Now, with wrecking balls and all that stuff that is made to tear buildings down, it makes absolutely no sense for God to tell Joshua and the Israelites to walk around a wall, a how whatever it was made of, a wall, we'll just say a brick wall, walk around it 13 times, blow trumpets, charge it and it's just gonna fall that makes absolutely no sense but at the end of the day it happened it happened and it's because they have faith in what god was going to do and they believe and have faith in what god said that the walls were going to fall as long as they did what he asked so moral of the story sometimes you're going to be placed in positions and in situations that just simply aren't isn't going to make sense it's not going to make sense in any way, shape, or form. But that doesn't mean that God isn't in it. That doesn't mean God doesn't have his hand in it. And that doesn't mean that even if you feel like you're alone, that God has abandoned you because he hasn't. You know, the Bible says God, he He will He will, He will will never leave us nor forsake us, excuse me. So we can have that confidence and we can have that courage knowing that whatever we step into or whatever God leads us to, that he's going to be there, even if it doesn't make sense. So I just I just did this video to encourage you guys, no matter what you're going through, whatever you may be experiencing right now, just know that God is there, even if you can't make sense of it, or even if it seems like he's not there, he definitely is. But um, otherwise, that's it, you know, and be sure to check out the other podcast episodes I got up here, I think it's up here, whichever, wherever it's at on the screen. But um, otherwise, yeah, if you want some more content such as this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. But until Thursday, y'all have a good day. God bless. Much love. Take care.